As a manager at E-Rank, I have the unique opportunity to help build and perfect Etsy-related tools that you guys request. And a few weeks ago, I asked our CEO, Anthony Wolf, for the coolest tool yet. After the rise of AI tools, I wanted to know if we could create something specifically for Etsy sellers. A tool that could craft listing titles, tags, and product descriptions in seconds in order to save time and brain power. And as you've probably guessed by the title of this video, we've turned this idea into a reality. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And if you're an Etsy seller, you likely know how hard coming up with great titles and Etsy descriptions can be. Maybe you're not a creative writer, maybe English isn't your native language, or maybe you just don't have the time to sit and write out all of your listings. We had all of these scenarios in mind when building the all new Listing Helper, an AI tool that can generate Etsy titles, tags, and descriptions in seconds based based on a brief description of your product. As of right now, this tool isn't available to the public. However, we are looking for beta testers who are willing to give feedback. I'll share more about how to do that at the end of this video. In just a moment, I'll be showing you this all new tool in action, as well as how to use it for your own Etsy shop. Before we get started, I just want to take a moment to give a quick shout out to this week's featured shop. Hey you, thanks so much for your love and support. For those of you watching, if you'd like to submit for your own shout out, just tag Handmade Alphas in a photo or screenshot of yourself watching this video, either in your Instagram feed or Instagram stories. So from the new listing helper page, the first thing that you're going to want to know is this huge glaring orange banner. As with any AI tool, we need to remember that this is essentially a robot, which means that it is absolutely subject to mistakes. So just be sure to read over everything the tool provides and expect occasional mistakes in context. To use the tool, we first want to type in a brief description of what we're selling. In this case, let's pretend that we are selling this ceramic floral cat mom mug with pink flowers and a gray tabby cat. You'll want to be as specific as possible, making sure that all details and major keywords that you want to include are in this description. In fact, I recommend using the keyword tool to find a few good keyword ideas to use when crafting this prompt, just to make sure that you're using the very best keywords in your request. For more details on how to do in-depth keyword research, make sure to click up here to get my free Etsy SEO toolbox, which is full of training videos and a short SEO mini course. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter our prompt. And this can take a few moments, so don't panic if you see this page for a while. As we can see, the listing helper has generated three good title suggestions using the description of our item and the keywords that we've incorporated. And even if you don't want to use them word for word, they may be a good springboard to start your own ideas just to help you get your creative juices flowing. And if you're not happy with these titles, you can always resubmit your request because you should get different results every time. Just remember that this tool is an AI language model. It doesn't know what your item is, so it relies on the clues that you feed into it. Scrolling down, it's also generated three fantastic descriptions based on the keywords from our prompts. And honestly, I'd feel comfortable pasting this right into my Etsy shop because it's way better than anything I could write. But still, be sure to read over it because occasionally it'll toss in details that aren't quite accurate for your specific product. For example, I never specified that my mug is white, so the AI tool might assume that because I described the flowers as being pink, maybe the mug itself is pink. And obviously that wouldn't be good to have in my description if the mug was actually white. The listing helper also gave us a whole list of possible tag ideas. However, before putting these into your listing, I just be sure to pop them into the keyword tool to get a better idea of what their search volumes on Etsy look like. Again, think of these as a springboard for ideas that you may not have considered, but I wouldn't just copy and paste them all right into your listing because the results are not keyword optimized aside from the few keyword phrases that we included in our initial query. And again, if you're not happy with the results that the listing helper gave you, on your first try, you can always revise your query and resubmit it to see if you get a list of titles, tags, and descriptions that are more to your liking. Every time you resubmit your query, the tool should give you different results, so don't be afraid to collect a few different options before ultimately deciding which to put in your listing. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the listing helper is currently still in beta, but we're currently looking for beta testers who are willing to give feedback about their experience with the tool in exchange for early access. If this sounds like something that may be helpful to your business and you want
want to take it for a spin, send an email to support at erank.com along with the email that you use to log into your eRank account or your Etsy shop link, and our team will get you set up with beta access. After you've gained access to the tool, be sure to share any feedback or notes with us using the bottom right chat feature so we can work to perfect the tool before launching it to the public. As with any AI discussion, it's important to remember that the choice to use AI tools for your business is totally up to you. As someone who works with thousands of sellers who struggle with speech and language, I see huge opportunities for those who need tools like these. And if you want to learn more about other ways that AI language models can help you run your business more seamlessly, be sure to check out this video up here, where I discuss the top ways that I feel that AI tools can be used for Etsy. Either way, I'm super excited about this tool, and I'm even more excited to hear what you think down in the comments below. Feel free to share any notes, ideas, or improvements with me, and I'll pass them over to my E-Rank team. Cue the funky lo-fi beat.